Air conditioning makes its debut, but not for people. The first underwater color photograph is taken, and parking is no longer free. I'm Chris Graveline, and it all happened this week in tech history. This week in 1902, Dr. Willis Carrier installed a commercial air conditioning system at a Brooklyn, New York printing plant. The system was the first to provide man-made control over temperature, humidity, ventilation, and air quality. For the first two decades of the 20th century, Carrier's invention was used primarily to cool machines, not people. The development of the centrifugal chiller by Carrier in the early 1920s led to comfort cooling for movie theaters, and before long, air conditioning came to department stores, office buildings, and railroad cars. This week in 1926, the first underwater color photograph appeared in National Geographic magazine. The picture of a hogfish was captured off the Florida Keys. The photographer used a special waterproof housing for the camera, as well as several pounds of highly explosive magnesium flash powder to light up the underwater scene. The powder was left on a raft on the surface of the water, and when the camera shutter was pressed, it triggered the explosion which lit up the water to 15 feet. In 1935 this week, the first automatic parking meters were installed in Oklahoma City. Opponents of the meters considered paying for parking un-American, as it forced drivers to pay what amounted to a tax on their cars, depriving them of their money without due process of law. Parking cost a nickel an hour, and the meters were placed at 20-foot intervals along the curb that corresponded to spaces painted on the pavement. And this week in 1965, the Mariner 4 spacecraft sent back the first close-up pictures of the planet Mars the first pictures ever captured of another planet in deep space. The images largely changed the scientific community's view of life on Mars. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA in Berlin. IFA, the Global Innovations Show. 6,000 media representatives, 2,600 from abroad. It's IFA time. Meet the official partner of the future in Berlin. Visit us online at intotomorrow.com where you can check out our many posts, find out how to listen to our weekly radio show, and subscribe to our free podcasts. Until next week when we'll take another trip into yesterday, I'm Chris Graveline.